I do got uh, some opinions on pot. I don't smoke it. I used to back when I was younger. Guys, I'm 28. I think smoking. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody? This is Henry here, and thank you for tuning in. Now guys, just a FYI, I do have a cold. I don't think it's the flu or you know anything, anything like that. I think it's just a common cold because it's fall and I typically get sick uh, around you know each se uh, change of season. But anyway, that's not important. What's important is what's going on in Ohio. This is my state. Yes, Ohio. <laughs> Ain't nothing here. And uh, apparently, issue one and issue two has uh, been passed. Issue two is this. I'm gonna talk about issue one too. That's that's important as well. And I'm gonna do a rant about issue one and also this as well. Okay. Anyway, guys. So this is about weed, marijuana, pots, etc. Um, it got passed today. Uh, this is the vote tally right here. So it's pretty close, but it, it got. Oh, well, actually, it's not that close, but it, it passed. Uh, the blue uh, cities are Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati. I think Toledo is blue as well. <clears throat> and yeah, you can now smoke weed, guys. I think it's 3.1 grams you can have on your person. Uh, you can smoke in public, uh, you know, out, out in the streets and whatnot. You can't smoke in weed and drive. It's kind of like drinking and driving. You can't do that. And I do got uh, some opinions on pot. I don't smoke it. I used to back when I was younger guys I'm 28 I think smoking weed is for losers in my opinion if you're a guy that's my age and if you work a nine to five job and if you don't have nothing going for you you know for yourself in life you just sitting there smoking pot 24 7 that's a loser guys that's that's a loser now if you have your shit together if you are retired or if you need it you know medical marijuana that's fine but smoking it 24-7, not doing shit with, with your life, yeah, you are a loser, 100%. That's just my opinion on that. I don't know if you guys agree or not. I know uh, when I was on Facebook, yes, I still post on Facebook. <laughs> um, there's, there's a lot of potheads on my Facebook page, and I was like, what the fuck? Damn, I mean, they all mostly white guys. Yeah, dude, you know, out that I went to high school with. And they're potheads. I'd be like... So these are the guys that are typically losers. Not all of them are, but the vast majority of potheads, they're losers. You know, they smoke all day, literally all day, every day, um, do nothing with their lives. They don't invest. They don't do anything. They, they, they might work, but with that money, you know, the paycheck, they're going to spend half of it on pot. You can use that money and invest in assets or save it to buy you know some apartment or something um you know get into crypto like there's so much that you can do with your money and that's why those same guys be like oh there's nothing going on for myself what the fuck life is so hard man i'm oppressed motherfucker you did that to yourself by spending all your money on weed you know that's just facts uh you know these are for guys that's in my age range you know 18 to 30 here we go most of them, I ain't saying all, again, most of them are losers, you know, that's just, it is what it is. I've been around these type of people back in high school and my early adult, you know, hood, and yeah, like, guys, don't be smoking weed 20 for 7, man. Go make your money, man. Save up. Uh, do something with your life, man. Don't be out here chasing women, being a lame, you know, being a lame, being a fucking bum. It's just a, it's it's a stereotype, but it's true. You know, most people that smoke pot are usually the bums of society. Losers don't have nothing going on, you know. But people want to get mad about it. Like, oh, uh, you smoke pot, or you used to? Yes, I used to smoke pot back in the day. Not that much of it, but a little bit. But anyway, enough with that. <clears throat> Issue two was passed. Um, 
kudos for the people that loves to smoke weed um go for it again i also think it's making society more fucking stupid because it does kill brain cells and it has a lot of pros and cons when it comes to anything pot alcohol drugs you know well weed is a drug uh, you know medicine you know vicodin all that stuff all kind of <laughs> i see what the government is trying to do here they try to make us fucking like retarded to pass all these laws to take our rights away i think that's what they try to do here hmm see not everyone is awakened now i'm starting to think as i'm talking to you guys is the government purposely trying to do this to pass stuff to take all the rights away to make our generation even more weak because right now our military's weak woke as hell got dudes dressed up as fucking women what the fuck man these motherfuckers go <laughs> gonna be the ones out here fighting hardcore fucking russians yeah we fucking done if world war three happened we're fucking done we're too fat we're lazy america is done if we go to war <laughs> we're fucking hit we're going to be done but yeah anyway now i'm gonna move on to the next segment here which is issue one all right now i know all the feminists is like, oh there's another man talking about bodies okay first off when it comes to you know reproduction and sex it takes two to tangle without us our sperm you know those little things i'd be swimming those little swimmers without that you can't get pregnant anyway and us as men we don't have any reproduction rights we should it takes two again to tangle our fucking semen is in you you know sorry you know i gotta go there but yeah semen is in you that's mine that's my stuff that's in you so i should have a right too but we don't us as men we're 100 percent treated like second class citizens the ones that's you know that simps and not awaken or red pilled or whatever you want to call it they don't see it they don't see the value or anything Mo most of them don't even have any type of value at all because the bums and simps want to chase women put women on pet on pedestals and whatnot um this obviously passed as you see um fit um you know it was it was somewhat close but it passed all the blue cities as usual this is all the uh, republican counties and whatnot yeah i say we are you know divided almost but it passed by a good bit and i don't know women i do have exceptions to abortions like um i can't say it because this is youtube grape you guys know what i'm saying um fuck incest sweet home alabama you know and also medical problems those are my three exceptions okay there's no others I, other than that i am pro uh pro-life but most of the abortions it, de it it uh differs from state to state the women that's irresponsible aka horror sluts skanks thoughts etc they're the majority of abortions they get knocked up by a random guy a bum or whoever having being you know being a irresponsible adult just having a lot of sex being um that woman empowerment bullshit that's going on they out there spreading the lugs to literally anybody <laughs> they're the ones that's out there important you know important uh babies and stuff and then yes you got the one two three percent five percent you know the rape and all the other stuff but guess what the minority doesn't make the majority that's just how it is but anyway again men are treated like second class citizens women but oh well it's again it's not your body not your tr motherfucker again takes two to tangle there's no ends ifs buts nothing about it takes two we should have just as much right as you do without men society would collapse i talked about this several times in other videos without us doing stem you know uh construction um plumbing electrician sewage building the buildings well that's construction uh you see those guys those guys that be going on top of those um electrical tire uh, towers fixing the you know electricity grid they're all men truckers etc uh, uh pilots etc women don't go into these fields because they choose to not go into these fields they go into air conditioned you know sitting on a desk 
uh, jobs or OnlyFans, you know, aka prostituting themselves online. That's fucking disgusting. But I'm gonna talk about that actually in another video. My next video, actually, let's go to the fire, uh, to the fireplace, and I'm explain a little bit about my next video. So give me one second. Hi right, guys. Well, we are at the fireplace. You know, I'm about to get wrap things up. If you guys agree, disagree, um, you know, etc. Um, you know, leave leave a comment below. Um, I know this could be a touchy topic, but we as men, we need to step up. We need to not revolt, but we need to be. We need to let our verse our voices be heard, man. Society does not care about us. They don't care about men's mental health. They give two fucks about us. Society don't care. If you're a woman, you like if you're pretty at that. Or average looking, you live life on easy though. That's just how it is, you know. They want um, traditional men, but a lot of them aren't traditional themselves. But anyway, sorry about that. My next video is going to be about dating single mo <laughs> dating single mothers. All right. When I get a little bit better, I'm going to be doing a video on that. So stay tuned. Make sure you click that notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Welcome. Um, check out my description below and go follow my social medias and my other channels gun, um you got the prepping gun guy channel the angry gamer and guns games and gadgets channel which is the main channel and yeah again if you guys got any comments uh leave them below make sure we guys are respect that you know uh you respect each other um don't be cussing people out because they have a, a different opinion that's the problem with today's america and i'm trying to think of some other th things before i get off here i don't think i have I don't think I have anything else. So, um, other than that, I hope you guys stay safe. Be rev surroundings. Carry a gun. See? Carry a gun. Okay? Get prepared and start stacking. When I when it comes to stacking, I mean precious metals, gold, silver, uh, platinum, etc. And as always, have a nice day. Take it easy, everybody.